everyone, it's Anne here from Anne Makes. Welcome to my channel. And right now I have a Dollar Tree haul to share with you. I went to two Dollar Trees this week and I believe my haul will be quite long. So I may decide to um, do this in two videos. And since I did two hauls, I think that that would make more sense too. And uh, I just finished filming two other uh, dollar store hauls. Uh, they are from a Dollarama. And Dollarama, uh, for those of you who don't know, is a chain of dollar stores that we have here in Canada. And the prices range between one and four dollars Canadian. And there's always like really neat things to find there. So I do uh, those hauls too and I share the videos here on YouTube. So if you're interested in seeing what I found at the Dollaramas I went to this week, uh, please uh, check out those videos. So without any more blah blah, <laughs> let's get to it. I picked up the last three of these pink baskets that uh, Dollar Tree had, my Dollar Tree had, and I was very excited to find these in the first place because I've seen so many people haul these types of baskets and they just weren't at my store. They never were there. Never, ever, ever were there. And uh, now finally they were, and they have them in a few different colors, and uh, yesterday, not yesterday, they on Monday I went to uh, a Dollar Tree and they had three left in this color and they do fit really well inside my craft cart. The, um, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, I have some of those craft carts that uh, I ha I do have an Ikea Rascog cart, but the this is going in my carts that are from Michael's, from the Recollections brand and they fit perfectly in there. So I wanted some more and I got what was left at the store near me. I really needed another one of these, I guess, foot brushes, foot files, because the one I had, the pumice stone just fell off and I um, I tried to glue it back on, but I guess water glue, it, it didn't work. So I just said, eh, for $1.25, I just bought myself a new one. And these are brand new. I don't know what they're like. Oh, and it's been, it been open. Hmm, not too sure about that now. Uh, these lip glosses and lip colors. Uh, the packaging is so shiny and pretty. And um, yeah. Oh, I didn't know they were opening. They open too easily. Hmm. Not too sure now. I don't like to buy makeup products that uh, can be opened easily in the store. So. Uh, they have these, and these are they have all sorts of different colors. So you get the gloss part here and the uh, the color there. So these are the three that I bought, and I just thought the uh, the lipstick themselves, the little container, is really cute. Looks like cut glass or crystal. So I got those. I picked up a few stickers. Um, no, I'll keep those for later. Oh, I picked up one of these small mascaras by LA Colors, uh, Lash Building Mascara. I don't wear a lot of makeup. I really put an effort into putting on some makeup now when I film videos, uh, but uh, I usually bring one of these and when I travel, just because it's very small, it's, comp it's very small size, it takes very little space in my toiletry kit, in my my suitcase and a mascara of this usually lasts me a year because I only use it for my travel so this to be sure I leave my other mascara at home so I don't lose it I have this one for traveling now this is new to me and I, I don't know if they're any good uh, these are new they are called dissolve they are laundry detergent eco strips so uh, I was reading this and basically it's like paper, but it's not paper, it's soap, it's laundry detergent on a sheet. And you just tear it off to do your laundry. 
And I thought, well, I will, and this, oh, there's a scent on here. It says fresh linen. And apparently you need one strip to do one load. And this package has six loads. So I guess there's six strips. And I just thought I'm going to give these a try at home first. But I thought they would be really handy to bring when I travel because first of all, they're not liquid. So if I am traveling with just a carry-on, then these can go in my carry-on and they're so thin, they take no, no room, they're so light, they don't add much weight to my suitcase and there's no liquid. So I don't have to worry about, you know, taking it out and stuff because sometimes uh, when we travel, it's just so much easier to, uh, travel light and to you know we it depends on what kind of trip i'm going of course um and if i can fit everything into a carry-on just for the sake of convenience uh, then i do that and then i'll just do a load of laundry while i'm there so i don't have to bring as much clothes and that my husband does that a lot more than i do but uh, that's what i was thinking so i got a few of these to try out and uh I got these fragrance sachets also in the, I think it's the linen scent. I can't, oh, it doesn't say, but it's like fresh laundry scent. I like using these in the closets in my house, especially in the bottom of the closets where the boys leave their shoes. <laughs> um, and oh, here I got a lot of stickers. Crazy, I don't need more stickers. But I got some. Uh, actually, there's a. I got several of the same kind, just because I thought they were really cute. I saw this. I saw many people haul this one with the cups of coffee on here, and I just thought these are cute, perfect for pocket letters, Fred mail. So I got these. There's 14 stickers on here. Dollar 25. That's pretty good. So I got a few of those. Oh, the other one I was hoping to find was the gardening one because I do love to garden. So I got a few of this gardening one. And I got a couple of this one with the like the fitness theme. It's kind of cute. There was only one of these and I have hauled it before but I really like uh, this one I love the clocks and it's very per it's perfect for vintage -y style projects speaking of vintage -y style product uh, projects I love this for vin the vintage style for other projects uh, and this I love this because it's kind of it looks like metal it's embossed but it's very lightweight and I also got one of these uh, the, with the camping theme because it's really, really cute and I don't have anything like this in my collection. Now I had seen some people haul these pads of paper and I hadn't seen them, but I was at a different Dollar Tree and they had, they had three packs of this uh, Creative Collection Premium Paper by Nina. And if you've watched my other videos, you know I keep saying I don't need more paper. And then I show you the new papers I bought. And I do have a video to show um, that if you're interested, I got a whack load of paper from a company that I work with and I just didn't know where to put it all. So I have a problem with paper. And uh, yeah, so this is by Nina. Nina is a really good company that makes paper and it's all these pretty prints and colors for $1.25 you get uh, 25 sheets of this 24 pound writing paper it's not cardstock it's paper but it's uh, it's really fun to have these different colors for making all sorts all sorts of crafts and DIYs and writing letters and such now the other thing I picked up, I was out of, were these paper cups. Um, I love using these for on the go to bring a beverage. I do have travel mugs and travel water bottles that I refill, but sometimes, depending on the situation, uh, these are really handy to have because once the beverage has 
been gone, then we could just throw it out and it just works better uh, that way to do that. Like if I'm on the way to the airport, at least by the time I get to the airport with my coffee or something, um, I, you know, I just can toss out the cup before I go through security. So I don't have to worry about, you know, a mug, cleaning it out and all that. And, oh, my Dollar Tree had this gift wrapped, and I don't know if anybody else has seen it, but they had my favorite hockey team gift wrapped, the Montreal Canadiens. Look at that. Woo, go Habs, go. Um, and they also had Toronto. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm from the East, okay? I grew up in Montreal, so I'm a Habs fan. And uh, so I got two of these because I thought these uh, not only are they fun for wrapping gifts for any Habs fans that uh, I know, but I also thought they would be really <laughs> fun to wrap something for someone who is uh, a rival team's fan. Just, just to be funny. Okay. Uh, I found a Wonder Woman. I got her because I thought I had to have a Wonder Woman. I think I already hauled another one a, a while ago and she's going in my stash. So if I have some sort of DIY fairy garden to make, uh, I will have my Wonder Woman. Uh, there were some more new scars at my store and I chose these two. Colors, they're kind of light. There was a lot of white in them, but they could be pretty with the right outfit. So I got these. They had lots of different colors and prints. A lot of Aztec kind of color uh, prints. Very pretty. I picked up some peanut butter cups uh, with the, you know, the pastel color wrapping. Uh, uh, during Christmas time, these usually come in reds and greens, and this is because Easter is uh, around the corner. They come in these colors, so I just got these for uh, my family. And I hope there's a second one of these because I intended to buy two of the little eggies, and this is going in some uh, gift bags for my boys. And, oh, I picked up several of the wire baskets with the ch chain. Another kind of all stuck together to planters. <laughs> They're the hanging basket planters. I got several of these. And I also got the, the coconut liners, quad core, what is it, cocoa liners coconut cocoa liners to put inside the basket. So I got a bunch of these because uh, I know if I wait to go buy these when I'll need them, there won't be any left. And I'll kick myself like I do every year. So I got a few of these and I don't think I have enough because we, we tend to put a lot of flowers around uh, the house, but I got six for now. Well, that's all I got, but there probably won't be any more if I need any. The other thing I picked up in the garden section were these uh, planter trolleys with the wheels. I thought I should get these because every year I forget that we have heavy, heavy pots to move around. Uh, it's when the, it gets really too hot, we have to take them out of the sun a little bit because some days it's just really, really too hot. Um, and it's just, they're heavy, they're big and they're heavy, so uh, maybe this year I'll be smarter and I'll put these under those pots first and it'll be easier to move them. So uh, there are only two left at one of the Dollar Trees I went to, but then I went to another Dollar Tree and they had four left in this color. So I got, so I have a total of six of these and I'm hoping they will be the right size for some flower pots that we still have from last year. And um, if not, I will be kicking myself because I know that if I need more flower pots, I will be too late and they'll be all sold out at Dollar Tree. Oh, and last but not least, uh, this Dollar Tree haul, I purchased um, 
a placemat. I thought it was very pretty and it would be nice on my my desk when I'm shooting um, down with the camera. So because the other ones I have are getting kind of grungy, ratty looking, so I just thought maybe this would be nice. So I got this for $1.25 and that's it for this uh, Dollar Tree haul. I hope you liked uh, this video. I would appreciate a thumbs up. Please like, comment, share. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And uh, stay tuned. There will be another Dollar Tree haul video uh, shortly. And there's already two other Dollarama haul videos uh, being uploaded or have been uploaded. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourself and I'll see you after the next video. Bye. Thank you.